Let's talk about manual removal of cyanobacteria. Firstly, grab your toothbrush and find some of the cyanobacteria spots that you want to work on. Gently remove the cyano with your toothbrush. Don't worry about the suspended particles in your water column. This will be removed by your protein skimmer and filter socks. Next, take your medium sized hose and siphon the sand. Don't be afraid to lose some of your sand with removing the cyanobacteria as you may find that the cyano is attached to the sand. It's okay to remove a little bit of sand in order to get rid of the cyanobacteria. Remember, you can pinch your hose to try and control the flow. Don't mess all over boys. Make sure you have no dead spots in your system. One way in doing this is by taking a piece of air pipe and blowing into your wave maker. This will help you find any dead spots and improve your flow. If you are finding that you have dead spots and there's no way to remove them with your current setup, you can try adding a couple more wave makers. Make sure you're on top of your cleaning schedule by cleaning out your skimmer and your filter socks at least once every three days. Reduce fish feeding for the meantime. If your nitrates and phosphates are still high, you can look into adding some GFO. Remember, when adding GFO, try not to strip your nitrates and phosphates too fast as this can negatively impact your healthy bacteria population. As we're trying to lower our nutrients, we can try and up our water changing schedule. Make sure to use quality salts or natural seawater. I like to do around a 30% water change at this time. Next, we can add beneficial bacteria to our systems to build up our microbiome. Cyanobacteria can be caused by an imbalance of microbiomes in the system. There are many products out there. One of them that I like to use is Microbacter 7. And remember in this hobby, our best friend is patience. So have patience. This is a marathon, it's not a sprint. The best practice is to catch things early and to stop them in their tracks. Work at it day by day and don't leave it too long. Most problems in this hobby arise from neglect. If you are still struggling with cyano, you can try lowering your lighting spectrum by two hours a day. You can also use chemical treatments, however this should be your last option. Don't forget to like and subscribe, handsome.